I first got into publishing by accident, actually. It was about 15 years ago. And my daughter, who was four years old at the time, I used to read to her stories every night before bed. And I used to read English stories, and I used to read stories in our mother tongue, Arabic. And she came to me and she said, Mom, the Arabic stories are really, really boring. And I was completely devastated because I wanted her to really connect with her own language, to read stories in her native tongue, and that really blew me away. But when I looked at the books that she was referring to, she was completely right. All of the content was translated from other languages. There was no creativity. There was nothing that really sparked their imagination. And so I started Kalimat Publishing, which is the publishing house that I run. I publish books in, you know, all genres from fiction to non-fiction, poetry, and children's books, of course. When I started my work into publishing, I really didn't think about how valuable publishing was as an industry. It really touches upon all aspects of society. I believe I'm most proud of uh, the Africa Publishing Innovation Fund. In partnership with Dubai Cares, we fund innovative projects in Africa. The first year we focused on indigenous language publishing. So we supported publishers that were publishing in their mother tongue. And the second year uh, we supported library building and creating a culture of reading. And in the third year we supported uh, remote learning uh, and digital classrooms, uh, obviously because of the pandemic. And uh, we're also excited to be working on accessible publishing for the next year. Some of the projects are really inspiring. The first project is by Bushiratu from Ghana, who's this young uh, woman uh, who set up something called Learners Girls Foundation to support girls getting into STEM education. And another interesting uh, example of the Africa Publishing Innovation Fund is working with Ikitabu, which is an organization in Kenya that's producing accessible books for visually impaired children. And that's the first project of its kind that we've seen in Africa. And they've really done a wonderful job through the Africa Publishing Innovation Fund. I've also had the opportunity to work with Chirikuri Chirikuri, who is uh, a famous uh, Zimbabwean poet and singer. And he set up a library in his hometown through the Africa Publishing Innovation Fund in a very remote area and brought in a lot of books and computers for people to work and do their research and changed his community just with one project. So it's wonderful to see these, these innovative projects coming out. Something that I've noticed through my work in IPA is that awareness is key. A lot of times um, content is pirated because there's no awareness about it. You know, they don't realize they're doing something illegal. So talking to children about copyright, I think is the start. It's very important to go to schools, to talk to children about the importance of protecting your content and copyright and how authors should be, you know, uh, respected and paid for their work and uh, publishers as well. So I think it's a, a very important conversation that should, should start at a young age. I think we as publishers need to always reinvent ourselves. We need to be agile, we need to be adaptable, we need to be innovative, we need to really try new things and see what works and what doesn't. We really need to use technology as a tool to help us reach our readers, whether it's through audiobooks or through subscription models or through Spotifying books. So that's our job as publishers.